as the market struggles and investors stare at a sea of red, there is only one group that is excited as they warned us it was all going to come crashing down. You know who I'm talking about, the bears. <laughs> Today we will take a look at the dark side of investing as we figure out what those bears are up to and more importantly, what they are buying. And we will begin right now. When we think about our standard bear, they are always telling us how the market is going to fall and how they are stacking cash to buy up their favorite stocks at a discount. Of course, when the market does fall, they also get to do the I told you so dance. Now, in all fairness, when the market is good, the bulls are doing the exact same thing on the upside. Make no mistake, buying stocks when they are majorly discounted is not a bad thing at all, provided their fundamentals are still looking good. The danger comes when you try to time the bottom, as timing the market is more often than not a losing prospect. Generally, the best way to buy the dip is to dollar cost average into it. Then, if the market turns around quickly, you will not have missed out on the deals as that person holding the bag waiting for the bottom just did. In a prolonged market downturn, bears do have a way to make money, as shorting the market is definitely one of those activities that can make some profits in a bear market. However, it is also much more riskier than just dollar cost averaging and then holding for the longer term returns once we move back into bullish spaces. If you add leverage to your shorts, there is the potential to make a lot of money or, well, yeah, to lose a lot of money too. Leverage is very risky and not something to take lightly. In fact, if you are a brand spanking new trader, you should stay away from leverage. Honestly, even most seasoned traders will stay clear of leverage. Risk is absolutely something to be wary of. Less risky than shorting the market yourself is to look at some of the ETFs that will do it for you. The least riskier ones are your covered call ETFs that sell or buy options and use the premiums from those trades to enhance the ETFs return. A good example of that is the purpose yield crypto spot ETFs. I have a video on covered call ETFs, so I will link that below in the pinned comment for you so you can check it out after you finish this one. Now, if you want to take even more risk, there are riskier ETFs. And once again, I need to caution you that these are very risky. And if they are something you are looking to get involved with, be sure to consult your financial advisor and be sure to only risk what you are willing to lose. With that being said, we are going to look at inverse ETFs. These are ETFs designed to make profit on an asset class when that class is declining in value. They are often in the form of an inverse short ETF as shorts is often the tool the ETF will use to create the profits. For example, an inverse ETF for the S&P 500 index will make money when the S&P is in decline. These ETFs will employ options and futures. Keep in mind, these are not ETFs you want to be holding long term as they will lose you more money than they make. They are best to be used when the market is in decline and even then I would be more inclined to think of them as strategic tools. Get in, make some profits, and get the banana bread out of Dodge. They are also commonly used as a hedge against other positions, so they are making money to compensate for the losses on the stock you are hedging against. If the inverse ETF uses two times leverage, then when the market is down 1%, your ETF, well, yes, it would be up 2%. So when it comes to hedging, if you are hedging a $1,000 asset, you would only need $500 on the inverse ETF to cover it. If it were a 3X leverage, then you would only need $333.33. So let me show you a few of these inverse ETFs. We will start with Beta Pro NASDAQ 100 2X Daily Bear ETF, which has a ticker of HQD. This is a Horizons ETF that inversely replicates the performance of the NASDAQ 100. They use 2X leverage. They also have a 1.15% management fee. And you will find that these inverse ETFs will come with higher fees, which, well, yes, yes, that does make sense as they are much more involved to manage. There are no dividends with these ETFs and growth is going to be up and down depending on the market. These are once again not long-term investments. They are very strategic and should be watched and sold once you have some profit and or the market looks like it is about to flip green. 
With that being said, with that being said, HQD has had a return thus far in 2022 of 54.76%. That's not too bad. However, you need to keep in mind that that return can go away, well, twice as fast as it grew. Maybe you prefer to get your bear on with the S&P 500. And in that case, we have Beta Pro S&P 500 2X Daily Bear ETF with a ticker of HSD. They also use a two times leverage and have the same management fee of 1.15%. And of course, similar to the other one, this one simply tracks the S&P 500 in an inverse relationship. Now their return was a little lower for 2022. They had a return of 39.56%. These ETFs, they look very alluring, but they can burn you. And for that reason, I will show you the Beta Pro Natural Gas Inverse Leverage Daily Bear ETF with a ticker of HND. This ETF also uses 2x leverage and has the same fee of 1.15%. However, the natural gas market has been booming. So if you were silly enough to hold this ETF for this year, you would be down 87.87%. .87 holy banana bread. The only way to lose money faster would be to just burn it. If I were to use one of these ETFs, I would look at my holdings. And once again, I'll begin with $1,000 of banana co. So the market begins to falter and I am like, I, I need a hedge. So I then buy an inverse ETF against the banana index for $500 as it is 2x leverage. In this scenario, if Banana Co. drops 25% to $750, then my inverse ETF would rise by, well, two times that, 50%. Thus, it would go to $750. As you can see, I am overall at a break-even point. Now, if the market looks to be recovering, I can then sell my ETF for $750 and move it to Banana Co., giving me in total, $1,500 of Banana Co., which then rises back to where it was before, so it goes up 25%. In that case, I have my original $1,000 from the banana stock that I started with, and I have an additional $1,000 from the shares I bought with the inverse ETF. In a bear market, I turned $1,500 into $2,000, which is a return of investment of 33.3%. That's not too bad. Keep in mind, that no matter how attractive these inverse ETFs look, you will always be better off in the long term with dollar cost averaging and holding those assets over longer time frames. As scary as a bear market or pattern can be, they are just really good times to dollar cost average into the fundamentally sound companies we have a high conviction for. If you guys loved this video, be excited. There is way more to come. Until then, why not watch one of these videos? And before you jump into that content, just be sure to like and subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you in the next video.